you doing guys back with another one and this one's a request from but first he lit on fire he wants to know if we can give specific weapons to specific ai and as you could probably tell from the title that's what we're going to be doing so without much else to say let's get right into this there's no map setup, we're just basing it off of your AI spawners that you already have. The only thing you really need to pay attention to is what kind of AI are on your spawners and what squad label they have. And once you have that, we can jump right into this. So the event we're going to start with is an events AI, and we're going to go on squad spawned with squad label. And since mine are set to alpha, I'm going to change that to alpha. The next one we're going to use is in logic, and it's called for each object. And we're going to plug it in just like that. The next one is in basic AI category at the top. And we're going to use the second node called get AI units from squad. Put it right here. Squad to squad just like that. Plug in our AI units into objects like that. And then we can start the, the cool stuff. So we're going to go to AI advanced now. And we're going to go down here to get AI character type. The AI unit, we're gonna plug into current object because that's what this does. It goes through a list of all the AI that are in this squad and they're counted as objects and the object it's gonna do is for each one. So the current object will be the AI unit and the character type. So now we need to compare that to something. We're gonna use logic compare, compare character type. Put it right here. Just like that. Plug in character type A to the character type here. Character type B is what you want to compare it to. So basically, you want this specific AI to have this specific weapon. That's the one you want to use right here. So if you have a grunt conscript like me and you want it to have something, select that as type B. Because now we're going to use a branch from logic. Put it up here. Execute per object. Plug that in to the action pin here. The condition is going to be our same character type. So basically, any grunt that is specifically a grunt conscript yellow will have this thing happen. And what that thing is going to be is we're going to go to inventory and we're going to go down toward the bottom and use give unit new weapon. Plug that if true into that right there. The unit we're going to connect all the way back here to current object because we're this is basically we're going to be going through the uh, AI here and it's going to say, okay, is this a unit a grunt? Yes, it is. So what we're going to do now is if it is, it's going to give that AI unit, which fits that description, a weapon type. And we're going to give it, say, I don't know, a pinpoint needler. Weapon addition method, uh, replace all, just to make sure that it gets it. And wait until completion, make sure it says false. Now, all you need to do for multiple uh, AI, you just need to duplicate your branch you need to duplicate these three nodes right here for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to duplicate this. That's just my neat way of getting it to duplicate down below it perfectly without it uh, being kind of off-centered. Anyway, um, character type, our same character type, will be in the condition of the next branch. And the if true will be right here. I didn't cover this a second ago, I don't think, so right now is if false. That's what we're going to be starting this branch from, the if false on our first branch, because it's going to say, okay, is it a grunt? Yes, it does this. That AI is done. It moves on to the next AI in the unit squad, or in the squad, <laughs> yeah. And it's gonna say, is it a grunt? No, it's not. So it's gonna say, okay, is it a, and that's what we need to change this for. I have an Elite Ultra in there, so I'm gonna make sure to select Elite Ultra as my character type B. And always make sure when you duplicate these to connect character type A up here to character type. Same as this with the unit, connect it all the way back here. And this one we're going to give a, what can we give this? We're going to give them an elite blood blade because we know they can't spawn with them normally. Now I have three other uh, AI, I'm going to speed through this and get it set up, but that's all, that's the repetitions you're going to have to go through. Duplicate this, this, and then this for each AI type that you have that you want to have a different weapon than what they have uh, set up on their spawner.
Okay, there we go. I have it set up uh, for each of my AI types, which is a Gark Conscript Yellow, an Elite Ultra, a Jackal Raider, Brute Captain, and a Gark Assault Purple. Um, I'm going to give the Elite Bloodblade to the Elite, of course, and the Pinpoint Needler to the Grunt, uh, a b Battle Rifle Breacher to the Jackal, and then a DMR Evolution uh, to the, the Brute. We're going to give a combination weapon type because, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and cover that. I did it in one of the videos, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it here. Uh, we're going to give this one a plasma pistol that shoots sniper rounds. So that way you can see that it does work this way as well. And just plug that weapon type right there into the, uh, into the weapon type. Weapon type combination from variables basic. And now that's your script. That will do it. Let's go ahead and run it. And notice everybody's got that special weapon they got. I have them just shooting at the wall, just so you can see the weapons firing. Let me see this. Yeah, shoot sniper rounds. So there you go. That's how you get specific AI from specific squads to have uh, the specific weapons you want. Down to as pretty tight as we can get it. Uh, without going into object variables and removing objects from list because I'm still not that great at that. And that's it. It's a lot of repetition and a lot of duplication, kind of. Um, it sucks that we can't really reduce it, but that's the best we're going to get, at least without going into variables and other uh, weird things that would just get too complicated for the basic scripting some of you want. So that's going to cover it for what you need. And I'll see you guys on the next one.